Hi friends, today we are going to talk about Fiori apps. Okay, so this is a Fiori app. Suppose this is this display customer balance. This is related with FBL 5N. Okay, so here if you see, this is the company code has already been defaulted. How this got defaulted? Okay, so like in SAP, the greatest thing about SAP, you can default stuff. So how will you do? You have to go to that particular app and you have to click here and then click on settings and then you go to default values here you find now change it so here the display currency is eur okay so if i change the company code to suppose i don't want this company i put 1710 okay and this is the one i can only put uh one can i put additional values mm, well i can put multiple values that's good so i can put thousand to suppose 1710 okay and i click okay okay that's like a filter okay and now if you if i go here the display currency i want is you you are okay the plant is this this is related with materials master okay so this this is the default for everything okay so it will copy okay so now what we can do is we'll just save it okay the moment i save it can see your changes have been saved okay so now probably i have to hit the back button and i'll hit this display customer balance let me see whether it gets replicated so you see you know only select company code with the same currency okay because this then i made it then i made a mess okay so i just need to but here you can see it uh, it defaulted so what i can do is i'll go here again that's good we're going here settings and here we go to default values and here uh, in this place I'll just click additional values and I will just say probably I don't know 1700 I don't know whether there's anything on 700 but who, who cares okay so between and you can put other things okay here you can put this and here you can this is company code related so i click ok and i'll save it okay and then i hit the probably back button okay uh, then i click this display customer balance and now here you can see all these things are showing so this is the way you can set up your default values okay so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a great